back to champion tree hunting. Today we are out looking for the largest lace bark pine in Rhode Island. I know it's somewhere in this giant cemetery, but I don't know exactly where, so you're gonna come find it with me. Let's go. All right, so as you can see, this cemetery labels all its trees, so it shouldn't be too hard to identify the lace bark pine when we actually stumble upon it, uh, but it's also a super recognizable tree. So there's no doubt in my mind, if we actually make our way to the tree, we'll know we got it. Oh, and by the way, this tree is uh, pretty small, so don't expect any kind of like towering behemoth or anything. It's more just about finding a cool non-native tree to the United States uh, and also wandering around this beautiful cemetery. So let's go. Little preview, the lace bark pine has bark pretty similar to this dogwood with the patchy multicolors. Uh, sycamore trees also have bark kind of similar to this. So this is the sort of pattern we're gonna be on the lookout for. All right, so this cemetery is really big and the sun's gonna go down in like two or three hours. So I gotta decide if I wanna do this systematically or just kinda wander around and keep my eyes open. I think I'm gonna stick with wandering for now, but if it becomes dire, we're just gonna pull up a map and go lane by lane looking for this tree. I just wandered around the whole little garden area of the cemetery and didn't see the tree anywhere, which is kind of good and bad. Good because I don't have to talk about the tree while right next to somebody's office in the cemetery. And bad because it means I got to wander around a little more and try to beat the sun. I swear to God, son, if you come down before I find this tree, there will be hell to pay. Here's a really big sugar maple. I bet this bay looked awesome uh, about a month or two ago. Love the font on that tomb. Awesome gnarly old oak tree right here. I used to not be like a huge oak tree guy because I thought the leaves were kind of boring and the colors in the fall weren't as like vibrant as some of the maple trees and uh, birch trees around here and stuff, but you know what I recently realized? It's all about the branches with the oak trees. Look at those guys. Oh, look at that pool. Oh wait, it's just a concrete hole. Did I fool you? Because I fooled myself when I was walking up to it. I've seen a few like cemetery landscapers wandering around. I think if all else fails, maybe I can ask one of those guys if they know where the tree is because I think this cemetery definitely prides itself on its rare tree collection based on uh, how detailed their signage of all the trees is. So I guess that's my last ditch effort is call for help. <laughs> I also read though that the lace bark can be cultivated into more like a bush or like a shrub. And I'm really hoping that's not what this particular tree is because I'm looking entirely at the bark of all these trees to try to find it. So if it's just some little shrub with a bunch of branches covering up the actual trunk, I'm gonna be in trouble. Actually, you know what would be even worse now that I think about it is if there's two lace bark pines or even more in this cemetery and I just, find like the fifth largest in the state. I swear to God, son, I'm gonna be so mad if your ass doesn't stay up in that sky. I mean it. Security guy for this park has driven by me about like nine times now because I've been in here for like an hour and a half. Every time he drives by, I just give him one of these. All right, the sun is starting to threaten to set. So I think we might be getting into Ask a Landscaper territory. 
Okay, so I just asked a couple of the landscapers and they were like insanely helpful. They knew right away what I was talking about, pointed out to me. It's back of those buildings I was at at the front. So somehow I just bumbled right by it. So we're on our way back to check out the tree. Oh, and they actually did also tell me there's multiple lace sparks in this place. So thank God I asked or I could have stumbled upon some pipsqueak one and thought that was the champion. And I think here's our tree right here. The guy said three trunks on the tree and this one has got three trunks all right. There's that coloring I was talking about earlier. Yeah, as you can probably tell from the sides of it, this tree does not grow as well here as it does in its native land of China. In fact, in China, it's typically found way up in the mountains, uh, particularly in like central China, uh, between the elevations of like two to 7,000 feet. This guy also gets called the white bark pine or bunges pine quite a bit. Uh, that second name, Bunge's Pine, comes from a Russian dude named Alexander A. von Bunge, who was a Russian envoy to China back in the 1830s. Uh, I guess he brought back some specimens of the tree to Russia after one of his trips to the imperial court, and his name got attached to the tree. I read that you'll see a lot of this tree in uh, like the gardens and grounds of Buddhist temples, and I think it would fit right in because it's such a pretty little tree. And as you can see at the base of the tree here, the lace bark pine has a real tendency to grow several trunks, which is what can make it sometimes look a bit more like a shrub than a tree. Uh, but I read if you really want to, you can kind of prune the new trunks as they come in and keep the tree as one solid trunk. But it looks like they're letting this one grow naturally, which I think is cooler anyway. This tree here must also be relatively mature because I read when the tree first starts out from a sapling, it's got just kind of like a flat greenish color bark and that patchy camo look doesn't really come in until the tree is at least a few years old. I think this particular tree is like 30 feet, which is pretty typical for American soil, American climate from what I've read. Uh, but back in its native homeland, this guy can apparently get up to like 70 or 80 feet. So probably about double as tall as this one. Okay, son, you did your job. You have my permission to set. I'm calling a truce. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.